Welcome to Wrestling News Mania, your go-to source for all the latest and greatest in the wrestling world. I'm Ubaid, and today we have an action-packed episode that you won't want to miss. Before we dive into the headlines, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. We want you to be part of our Wrestling News Mania family. Let's jump right into today's sizzling topics. Paul Heyman names WWE stars to rival the legendary SmackDown 6. First up, we have some exciting insights from WWE Hall of Famer Paul Heyman. Known for his incredible ability to craft compelling narratives in pro wrestling, Heyman recently shared which current WWE superstars he would choose to rival the iconic SmackDown 6. This legendary group included Chris Benoit, Kurt Angle, Edge, Rey Mysterio, Chavo Guerrero, and Eddie Guerrero, and their magic defined a golden era in WWE history. In an interview with Newsweek, Heyman praised the depth of today's WWE roster and claimed he could create multiple rosters that would rival the brilliance of the SmackDown 6. He mentioned members of the Bloodline, including Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa, as essential picks for his new vision. He also included talents like Seth Rollins, CM Punk, Braun Breaker, Rhea Ripley, and Liv Morgan. Heyman even suggested using Pat McAfee as an energetic commentator and building a promotion around stars like Logan Paul or LA Knight. What do you think about Heyman's choices? Could these modern superstars capture the same lightning in a bottle that the SmackDown 6 did? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Paul Heyman reacts to Roman Reigns' WWE SmackDown return. Speaking of Paul Heyman, he recently had a significant reaction to the return of Roman Reigns on WWE SmackDown. After being attacked by Solo Sokoa and the rest of the Bloodline, fans were eagerly awaiting his return. Reigns made a massive comeback at SummerSlam, helping Cody Rhodes retain the undisputed WWE Championship against Solo. Following this, he returned to SmackDown to confront Solo, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Loo. While Heyman has yet to publicly discuss Reigns' return, he took to Instagram to celebrate the moment, referring to Reigns as the original tribal chief. With Reigns back in the mix, we can expect fireworks in the coming weeks. Are you excited to see how this unfolds? Who do you think will challenge Reigns next? Let us know your predictions. Rhea Ripley labels Dominic Mysterio trash following WWE Raw. In a dramatic turn of events, Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio's split has left the WWE universe buzzing. After a heated confrontation on Raw, the former lovers and stablemates have been exchanging some pretty harsh insults. Ripley has publicly declared Dominic to be trash and baby-like, showcasing her fierce persona as she embraces her new role in the Terror Twins with Damian Priest. On social media, Ripley made a bold statement by sharing new images that playfully mocked Dominic. One of her new profile pictures portrays him with a teddy bear and a pacifier, while another shows him in a trash can costume. This feud has escalated dramatically, and fans are left wondering what will happen next. How do you feel about this public spat? Who do you think will come out on top in their upcoming mixed tag team match at Bash in Berlin? Let us know your opinions. Wesley reveals why he betrayed TNA's rascals on NXT. Wesley shocked the wrestling world when he turned on his longtime friends and tag team partners, Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel, known as the Rascals, at the Great American Bash. The betrayal left fans stunned, and during the recent WWE NXT episode, Lee explained the reasoning behind his actions. Lee revealed that his frustrations had been building for years, starting from when Wentz was previously let go from WWE. He expressed feelings of abandonment and disappointment, highlighting how he felt sidelined while his former partners found success without him. I believed I was going to be winning the tag team titles with my best friend, but Zach let me down. Again, Lee said during his passionate promo. This emotional breakdown clearly shows how much Lee values loyalty and recognition in the wrestling business. With the upcoming match against Wentz at No Mercy, fans are eager to see how this intense feud develops. Do you think Lee's betrayal was justified? What do you expect to see in their upcoming match? Share your thoughts. Big stipulation match planned for CM Punk and Drew McIntyre at Bash in Berlin 2024. As we gear up for the Bash in Berlin 2024, exciting news has emerged about a potential match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. Following their incredible encounter at SummerSlam, where McIntyre emerged victorious after a distraction from Seth Rollins, speculation is swirling about a strap match being in the works. This intense rivalry has captivated fans, especially with the dramatic storylines surrounding both characters. Punk's return to the ring after nearly a decade has revitalized his career, and McIntyre has proven himself as a formidable opponent. The stakes have never been higher, and a strap match could elevate their feud to new heights. How do you see this match unfolding? Will CM Punk finally get his revenge? Let us know your predictions. 
will Roman Reigns face Solo Sikoa at Bash in Berlin? With Reigns back in action, fans are wondering if he'll face Solo Sikoa at the Bash in Berlin. Following the chaotic events of Monday Night Raw, the anticipation is building for another epic clash. The tension between the two members of the bloodline has reached a boiling point, and it seems inevitable that they will face off soon. CM Punk has been vocal about his appreciation for the current WWE atmosphere, crediting the changes under Triple H and TKO for his successful return. Reigns' potential matchup with Solo could further escalate the drama within the bloodline. How do you think this storyline will unfold? Share your thoughts. WWE's Chase U becomes NXT Tag Team Champions in Epic Win. In a thrilling main event on WWE NXT, Chase U, represented by Andre Chase and Ridge Holland, made history by winning the NXT Tag Team Championships. This victory marked a significant moment for the fan favorite group who have been fighting hard to prove themselves. The match was filled with dramatic moments, with Chase U refusing to back down against the champions, Axiom and Nathan Fraser. After a series of high-stakes maneuvers, Chase and Holland executed their finisher to clinch the victory. The crowd erupted in celebration as they hoisted the titles high. What did you think of this exciting match? Are Chase U your new favorites in NXT? Let us know. Stephanie McMahon encouraged WWE superstar to go all out with weird character. In a fascinating revelation, Luke Gallows shared how Stephanie McMahon encouraged him to embrace his eccentric side while developing his character. Back in 2005, Gallows created a persona called Freakin' Deacon, which included a pet spider as part of a split personality gimmick. While discussing this experience on Talkin' Shop, Gallows explained how he wanted to push boundaries and create a memorable character. Stephanie's encouragement to be as weird as possible led to some bizarre but captivating promos. Although this character never made it to the spotlight, it showcases the creativity that thrives in wrestling. What do you think about unique characters in wrestling? Should WWE take more risks with character development? Share your thoughts. Legitimacy of CM Punk's travel problems. Before WWE Raw on 8 12th revealed. Lastly, let's talk about CM Punk's travel issues leading up to the August 12th Raw. Initially, it was reported that Punk faced travel problems, which fueled speculation about his participation in the event. However, it has since been revealed that these issues were part of a storyline. This follows a trend where many WWE stars experience travel challenges, such as canceled flights due to Tropical Storm Debbie. As wrestling fans, we certainly hope these travel woes become a thing of the past. What do you think about the legitimacy of storylines involving travel issues? Should they be a regular occurrence in wrestling narratives? Let us know in the comments. That's all for today's episode of Wrestling News Mania. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on all things wrestling. I'm Ubaid, and I'll see you next time with more exciting updates. Until then, keep cheering and stay wrestling crazy. We want to hear your thoughts on today's headlines, so don't hold back. Let's chat in the comments.